Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back, welcome back to another just time of word, just of encouragement. Um, if I always say, you know, if the Holy Spirit gives me things to share, I just share it as an encouragement because I do believe that we're not supposed to be doing this walk alone. We're supposed to encourage each other. You know, as the Word of God says, iron sharpens iron. So we're supposed to be sharpening each other. So I'm always encouraged to hear messages from amazing uh, men and women of God just to be edified, you know, to be strengthened. So I really hope this blesses you. So today uh, we are talking about, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving, big, big, big word, you know, in this time where we live in, like, it's so easy to just complain, right? We, we can easily find ourselves complaining about the smallest things, you know, I don't have this, I don't have that. And even though sometimes, not sometimes, many times we, if we really look at our lives, you know, God has blessed us tremendously, but we always tend to find these little things just to kind of complain about. It's it, it's become like a habit, right? We just want things fast, we want it now. So if we don't have it, it's so easy to complain. We'll go to Chick-fil-A, we'll go somewhere to say, ah, oh, the line is too long. Why do I have to wait? I came for try a, a drive through, but it's just, you know, it goes on and on and on. And so lately, the Holy Spirit's been kind of, you know, working on me, taking it there. He's just like, uh, Rachel, you know, you've been complaining uh, here and there. So, you know, that's not good, right? And of course, one of the stories we're always reminded of, uh, of the children of Israel, you know, they could have got to their destination sooner than they should have, you know, been, but it just took longer because of their complaints. So I'm not going to talk about that today, but it's just to say that God really, um, it really hurts him. It grieves the Holy Spirit when we complain, especially when he's blessed us with so much. And while he's also, I want to say working on the things that we're asking him for, because when we do ask, we believe that it's already done. It's just a matter of us waiting, right, for those things to manifest. So anyway, um, I don't like to take so long, so I just want to briefly share. So today, Thanksgiving, right? Matthew 14, 13 to 21 is the, the, the story we're going to focus on, and it focuses on Jesus. Um, it's the story of the little boy who had uh, five loaves of bread and two fish. So they, they, you know, they came into a, a, a little situation. I don't even want to, I don't, I don't think it's little. I think it's big, but, um, Jesus was teaching, and so a mass of people followed them, and what ended up happening was that they were hungry. So Jesus was like, okay, he told his disciples, why don't you guys feed them? Go get something to eat at the supermarket and feed them. And they looked at him like, are you serious? Like, I'm sure if I was there, I would be like, Jesus, are you trying to be sarcastic? Because, like, to feed 5,000, and that's what the disciples said. They said it would take a year uh, worth of wages, a uh, 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 wages worth of a year to be able to feed them. So are, are, are you, are you okay? But then again, Jesus knew what he was talking about. So then he says, so what, what, what do you have? Okay. So then, um, I believe it was one of the disciples was like, Hey, there's a boy. We found him with five bread and two fish. So then Jesus was like, okay, now I have something to work with. All right. So he took it. He lifted up the, 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 the food and bless the father, gave it back to the disciples. And as we know, the food multiplied and it fed all the 5,000 individuals who were present there. So we see Jesus was faced with a situation. He knew, but he saw, he knew it was a problem. Everyone saw that it was a problem, but he knew that it was also an opportunity for the father to be glorified, right? Because all of this, everything that Jesus was doing was to glorify the father. So Instead of worrying, first he, what, what did he do first? He looked up, blessed the food, and then God multiplied, right? So what are we called to do when uh, we face lack, we face trials, we face circumstances, we face all kinds of maybe negative situations that we really don't know what to do? Um, you know, the first thing that we're supposed to do is look up to our Father, right? Up, not downward at the situation or ourselves, because sometimes we find ourselves in and we were unable to provide to, to change the situation, whether it's financially or however. So we look up to our Father who is in heaven, who can do all things. And then, second, we give thanks. We have to give thanks. No matter the situation, giving thanks is so important. It's the key. 
is to be honest, it's really one of those spiritual pleas to to have breakthrough instead of complaining. And again, we've seen so many stories, right, in the Bible where people have complained. Where does complaining take us, right? And I'm I'm preaching to myself too. Complaining doesn't take us anywhere, but giving thanks definitely brings us somewhere. So we give thanks. So another scripture is Philippians 4, 6, where it says, we all know this, right? We quote it all the time and we all say it, but now it's time to put it into application. We need to apply the word of God. Look, times are changing. Things are becoming more weird, uh, wicked, whatever you want to name it. But the word of God says grace abounds. But we also need to do our part by being strong in the word of the Lord. And not just know the word, but also apply the word, right? So now it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Isn't that what Jesus did, right? I mean, he, he could have worried and he could have been like, again, because remember, Jesus was tempted in all ways. The way we are tempted today, Jesus was also tempted. So he could have been like, oh, okay, okay, uh, all right, Holy Spirit, okay, God, uh, you know, no, 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 no. The first thing that he did, according to Philippians 4, 6, it says if he knew this, and I believe he, he, he knew this because he is the word, right? So Philippians 4, 6 was already in him, right? So this is so cool. This is why I love Jesus because he is the living word. He was walking. He was the, the word walking in flesh, right? So that's that's what John 1 says. So let me get let me not get off course. I'm just getting so excited, so amazing. But um he was not anxious. Was he anxious? No. Was he worried? No. In this situation, what did he do? He he brought it up, he lifted up as if he was praying, because he was talking to the Father, and then what did he do? He gave thanks and he presented this request to God. And God, in the end, glorified himself, answered a prayer, and multiplied. So, again, you know, I love the scripture that says that greater things will we do. Jesus said, greater things will we do because I go to the Father. He has transferred all this authority, all this um, uh, a guide to us so that we can replicate and do greater than what he did. So in every situation, I want to encourage us. I want to encourage you guys, myself, give thanks, give thanks. Someone is sick, give thanks. You, 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 you're lacking financially, give thanks. There's a little situation, there's a big situation. What do we, what do you do first? Present your request. Say, okay, God, here it is. Lord, I'm, I'm angry at work. This Co-worker of mine is making me upset. I'm bringing it to you, but I give you thanks because I have a job. I give you thanks because of this. And now I need you to help me, Lord. Okay, that's different than, Lord, I, this co-worker is get, making me angry. Oh, my God. Oh, I wish I had another job. I wish I wasn't at this job. I wish I was somewhere else. Okay, where are we going now? We're complaining, right? Okay, so give thanks. Give thanks. Thanksgiving you know, just lifts up, you know, God so he can be able to do what he's supposed to do in the first place. Complaining does not make him move any more or less than anything. If anything, it really grieves him. So I want to encourage you to look around. First, look at the blessings that you have, your family, your job, your car, whatever. Just know that there are so many people around the world who do not even have the slightest things of those things that you have. The fact that we've been able to um kind of transition and, and be in africa has opened up my eyes i knew these things but to be in it and to see how people are suffering and this is not just africa it can be all over the world south there's so many places right but to be able to see and to walk around the streets and to see the hurt the suffering y'all even for a pen i'm thankful for a pillow i'm thankful for a bed i'm thankful for bread i'm thankful and i'm not gonna let the enemy just get me into this line of complaining um, to forget what God has done. So in everything, God cares about your situation. Every little single one of us, he cares. But he wants you to present it to him. Then give him thanks and watch him multiply. So I hope this was a blessing to you. I try to stay less than 10 minutes. So please like, share, and I'll love to, to, to hear what God is doing in your life. So stay blessed and I'll see you next time. Bye.